Hello, my name's Simon Crafer. We're at Assen in the Repsol Honda garage because this week's Tech Talk is about the data engineer's job in MotoGP. And I'm really happy to be able to say we're joined by Marco Barbiani, who is the Repsol Honda team data engineer. And uh, our idea is to give you an, uh, an idea of what his job is at the race weekend. But before we get into that, I'm hoping, Marco, you can tell us when your job for this weekend actually starts. Well, at least the people believe we arrive on the track and we start to walk. Our job starts much early. We have two, three days to prepare the event because once we arrive here, the time is, there is no time basically. By the data from the previous year, we prepare, we have already an idea which was the fastest rider, how was a possible gearbox that was working here, the setting. And already in that point, at home, start the collaboration with the crew chief. We, my job is to support the crew chief on the decision. And when you have already collected a lot of information, you arrive here ready, basically. Okay. You know, plus minus where will be the bike, of course because once we arrive, we have the meeting with the riders, we have the meeting with the Japanese staff. And set up the garage. Like of course, this is, this is really important because we spend almost all the Wednesday to prepare the garage, set up the network with the server, with all the communication with the, with the bike. Yeah. Cool. And at least uh, the Thursday, we prepare, set up the bike, and uh, we make already the first meeting with the rider because when he joined, the crew chief start to speak with him and we show him which was the direction from the previous year with this bike, especially if it's a new rider or that we are lucky that we already know how our bikes works. And then uh, we try to inform him to give much more uh, help to interpret the bike. Cool. So then he gets on the bike, the light turns green He's out there for half a dozen. FP1 directly. Yeah, FP1, half a dozen laps or so. Then he comes in. You guys, I always see plug in. Yes. And what happens then? How, does your, how do you work in that moment? At least we download the data. All, we record all the sensor. What about happened? How, how many sensors roughly? Well, we are talking about around 200 sensors, something like this. Well, we can be well, much more, much more. Well. Anyway, once we have all the data, we, the, the, th the first thing is that the, the crew chief starts to speak with the rider because he cannot miss the, the connection with him. The he first impressions from the course, rider. Of course, the first comment with one herd, <laughs> we are there to, to hear the rider and with the other one, we are walking and at least download, check the reliability of the bike. Check R if there are any problem, any, if the bike is okay, temper to uh, talking about, we, we start to prepare some information to give quickly to the crew chief to say, okay, we are fine. Okay. We are in the correct area. Okay. And that, so that's the reliability side, obviously, yeah, is priority. And then with the comments of the rider, or with do you already look for problems setup-wise, or are you going on comments only? Like well, at least the, the rider already gives us some comments, and you know if he has a huge problem, for example, with engine brake, I'm not stopping, or something like this. Yep. And then you catch the opportunity to, to watch which is the corner worst, and in this way, you can quickly help the rider to tell, okay, maybe next run, we speak first of all with the crew chief and say, maybe next run we can try to use a little bit more engine brake, we can adapt. In this way, we don't waste time. Okay. So my first um, impression with data yeah. uh, was obviously a lot more primitive than you have, but I remember it really helping me in two or three areas and uh, probably first one top of my head would be we had no uh, controls on the bike, so the connection with the throttle was very important. With it was the everything. <laughs> and <laughs> if it, there was a hole, we got out on track and there was a hole, some blah, or and the connection wasn't good with the rear tire, I didn't know whether it was lean or rich or what, but I could feel the hole and I would tell them and the data guy would look and he would say, oh, yes, it's a little bit lean there, a little bit rich, and they could fix it quicker because of him. Is there something similar now? What, what it's, happens? 
the, con the concept is exactly the same, but now everything is much more fast because uh, we have a, a lot of parameters that we can already detect if something went wrong. And this helps a lot us because the rider, we can check if the rider is open in the correct way. Why? Because maybe it doesn't feel the bike as you prefer. Then we have a lot of sensors that can help us. Okay. And uh, if we can, our job is to give him the most easy bike to ride. Okay, okay. Um, and so another one that I felt often that he, they helped with was uh, probably gearbox setting because if the gearbox was, uh, I would think, ah, it's too short here. Can we uh, make it longer? But the data guy would go, hey, but you're using third here and here and it's perfect. Uh, or another one was um, I would brake in one hard braking area, the front forks would hit the bottom, I would feel the bottom, pick the rear up and I think, ah, it's too soft here. I would come in, complain, w I think we need to go harder. To, to but he would say, the data guy would say, yeah, but it's one bump in one place, the rest of the track, it looks perfect. You will destroy it for there. Exactly, it depends. A few, time, few times happen, uh, we have a big issue in one corner. And uh, are we sure to, uh, to do any modifying the bike that can compromise all the other 14 corners, for example. Yeah. And which, uh, this is one point, this is true. Then for us, the real important thing is to repeat the situation, to see the rider, if he has, if he have any problem just one time or every lap, it means there is something, then we will try to work on it. Okay. Also for the, for example, the throttle connection, the rider arrive, the rider arrive and say, I'm spinning, I cannot, I have some problem. Then we can see, wow, maybe, to, to help him a little bit. Maybe you can try to go a little bit less with the power because we have many switches and then he can try. So you can have another map with a little bit less power. Already in the, already in the CU and then you know, he can do three laps and try. Yeah. Wow, now with the, for example, with less power, is, I feel less much better. Then, okay. okay, let's try to do the same corner that you get problem before. Do with third instead of fourth to try to see. Yeah, you know, now the spinning is better or this is good because the rider, now the rider are a part of, they did part of my job because they are so clever, they understand what's gonna happen on the bike and... So if, uh, this is getting into you helping the rider ride as well. You, you, meaning you help the rider, for example, does he ask where he's riding good or bad, you know, compared to the other riders on the same brand? This is one of the main points because at least the rider want to adapt to the bike, want the bike adapt to him. That's why we are here to set up with many changes. But this is one, like 50% of the job. The other 50 is that you wanna know what the neighbor are doing and also how much they are fast or the worst case, where he's faster than them. Yeah, so to this help is, him improve. Yeah, exactly. In we can oh. compare, we have Marelli, which is a really powerful system yeah. that help us to make a lot of uh, variable or uh, plotting. And day by day, maybe better, even session by session, we continue, to, we continue our job. We have two, three hours that we evaluate if we, check some, if we change something on the bike, or for example, if the rider was improving compared to the morning. It, because at the same time, we have to consider, wow, the grip is changed. Then many changes are all fitted together and we need to keep the same way. So you're saying, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to touch on. The session is over. And so what is your job between sessions, whether it's between FP1 and 2 or FP2 and overnight for FP3? How would you describe your job in this time? At least as, you, as we finish the first meeting with the rider, we, we go, we take a few notes and we start to analyze, we check. This happened frequently. The problem that the, we are get in the morning, we still have. Then we need to approach in a different way. Uh, my job, mainly job is to support the crew chief. Then he, he take the decision together the rider. And what do you want to improve? You what mean? do you want to improve? Yeah. Maybe, okay, Marco, please, can you check? We try these items uh, and this one. And my job is with, to compare and to know, okay, w maybe with this component we can gain one tenth here, here is better on acceleration. Maybe we can compromise a little bit the, the entry. Uh, is a lot of information that we can build up. Okay. Problem. Last question for you. Yeah. The race is finished. Your job uh, will continue, I imagine. Uh, 
for some time, the next days maybe, to analyze what happened or where you can improve the, the, the next time back here? Correct. And also oh, how you can improve. Well, the next year in the same circuit will be difficult. It's much better the next year to, to pick up the, the previous information. But will be so important for the next race, especially when we have two consecutive uh, races. You have two, three days after the race to analyze, what? to analyze the riding style, the, the, the rider approach in the race. Because in the race you have to do 25, 30 laps, then he cannot make a mistake, he cannot come back, he cannot change the bike. So you have a lot of good data. Yes, mean? this is good because you can repeat the situation. Okay. And then for us it's, uh, it's, a good, it's good to, to build up one, one real good lap. And then after we can show to the rider. Okay. And is the first, the next race that asks us what I did in the race, what I did in that lap. And okay. this, if you can build up this, con, this, this speaking with the rider is good. Okay, Marco, thank you so much for your insight. Thank you to you. I enjoyed, I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you at Austria, the Red Bull Ring for the next Tech Talk. Until then, 